Hey everyone, welcome back to another Foodie Fridays. Today we are going to teach you how to properly wash your produce. Now, you don't have to do it in your sink like I'm about to do. You could obviously do it in a bowl or whatever suits you. But the first step to washing your produce properly would obviously starting off with a clean sink. Now, mine is a little tainted, but um, you know, it's old. I've been here for 10 years and this building has, I don't know, this building's been around for like 25 years, so. But it's clean, I washed it down. So the next step that I'm gonna do is add my produce into it. Now I'm gonna do two separate ones. I'm gonna put, sorry, sorry, I have the birds all flying around. Parang, do you mind? I'm gonna put the fruits in here because I'm gonna do that for the lorries and then I'm gonna have my veggies over here. I will take, I will take some of my fruits and mix it in. Come on, stop. I will take some of my fruits and mix it in with the parrot, regular parrots um, veggies. But because the lorries are only going to get their fruits, I keep, like to keep them separated. So here goes nothing. Okay, so the next thing, I put the fruits and veggies in. I don't have a lot, so you want to make sure that your sink is clogged. Um, this is my before I have to go to a shop, a grocery shop type of thing. So anyways, all I have here is I have a dragon fruit, which I've never tried with the... I've never tried with the lorries before, so that'll be something new. So don't copy me right now. If you want to do a lorry mix, look at my other lorry perine. Um, if you want to do a lorry chop, I'll do one for you guys. But I don't want to do one and you guys copy and then dragon fruit's like not good for them. I'm a, I'm able to kind of play around with what I give them now because I do give them the iron out tea. So that means that the iron out tea has tannins in it that will bind any iron from being absorbed if they do take anything with iron. So that's why I'm a little bit okay with them having um, one or two items that I don't usually use. But I still do my research to know if I should continue using it or not. So anyways, there's a dragon fruit. I only have three strawberries left on my pack. <laughs> Pretty bad. Um, my pomegranates, um, two different type of apples, a mango, blueberries, and blackberries. And that's pretty much what my... Um, fruit mixes. I do have here broccoli, zucchini, uh, cucumber, what do you call it? Um, parsley, okra, and carrots, bell pepper. So I usually have more greens. Like I usually like to have um, either a spinach or, you know, kale or Swiss chard or something like that included. But like I said, this is before I go back to the grocery store. Now, all my fruits and veggies are organic. I'm not saying you have to do that, but that's how I do it. Just to be on the safer side, I like to have organic for me and the family and also for my birds. So next thing that I also want to mention before I continue, actually, let me make sure this is clogged. Okay. There we go. Sorry, guys. Okay, so next thing I want to mention, I had to shake Corrine off my shoulder. Um, next thing I want to mention is I used to be a rinser. So what I mean by that is you put the water on cold and I used to just kind of rub it like this. And then I'll be like, okay, it's good to eat. I'm not a rinser anymore. Um, so now I actually soak, I soak the produce before using it. So you could do it many different ways. Some people buy a veggie wash and they use the veggie wash and they use that to, um, clean their veggies. I don't use a veggie wash, but some people just, like I said, just showed you they rinse, but they might have a scrubber. So they might use a scrubber on it to clean your produce. That also works if that's best for you. For me, I find that this is the most relaxing and unstressful way for me to do it. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna fill up these things with water, with cold water. I'm gonna fill, guys, I'm recording Kodak, Rasta. Um, I'm gonna fill up these things with cold water and then I'll be back. Okay, so once your sink has filled up with your produce, um, or with the water, sorry. You want to add your apple cider vinegar. Um, I got the organic, raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother. And I just add that into it. And then I'm going to leave them for 30 minutes. So let's just go ahead and pour some in there. Okay. And then see it got on the broccoli. I'm just going to push the broccoli in. Okay, so that's that. And then over here, I'm just going to add a little bit in here. And we're going to let that sit. And there you have it. So they're going to sit here for 30 minutes. And then I will come and rinse them off. And I'll be ready to do whatever you want to do with them. Whether you want to just give it to them as is. Cut it in little pieces. Make a chop. Make a mash. 
make a puree, whatever you guys want to do, it, your produce is now clean and ready to be fed to your parrots. Okay, so my 30 minutes is up, so all you do at this point in time is take away, pull up the plug, the water will start draining. As you can see, the water is draining. Okay, and then all I do at this point is I will just rinse off put the veggies wherever I want. So in this case, I'm going to put the veggies, um, let me get a plate, hold on. You're here with me? Yes, you're here with me? Okay, so we're just going to rinse off the fruit and stick them over there. So I literally just rinse it off. Watch out, Cody. And for the strawberries, I'm going to cut off the top. And then I'll just top that on myself. The bagels and everything. I'm, the pomegranate, I'm not giving to the lorries. Apples, I will chop up. Today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing uh, I'm going to be doing a chop. Um, and so... I'll show you guys that maybe maybe I'll record it and show you guys next week but today we're just focusing on how to properly clean produce so I hope this helps somebody yeah it's okay you let them go in the drain it's okay I already washed everything all right so that's done I'm gonna take those out and then I'm just gonna rinse off the veggies Okay, so as you can see, he's already helping himself to some blueberries, which is fine. He's enjoying his blueberries. And while he does that, I'll just go ahead and rinse off the produce. Same thing. All you're going to do is, I'm trying to figure out how to hold it. Same thing, you're just going to take it. Well, I already did that. Rinse it off. So because this is empty, I'm just going to put it here for now. So, and that's it. Now you can do whatever you want with it, with your veggies and your fruits, knowing that they have been properly washed. I hope this helps somebody. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in another Foodie Friday. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Kodak. 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 Say ciao. Say ciao. He just enjoyed his blueberry. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.